Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas. I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia, and of course we're back with another awesome music video. And this time we're tackling a hit from the year 2002, from the debut album from a band called Audio Slave, which consisted of the rhythm section, so the drummer, the bass player, and the guitarist from Rage Against the Machine, and the legendary vocalist Chris Cornell of Soundgarden and James Bond theme fame. You know his name. And yeah, that's basically the riffs. Let's talk about them. I'll try and teach them to you. And yeah, we'll have a bit of fun along the way. The intro starts off with this big old drum beat and a thumping bass riff. And of course the guitar over the top, it's just giving it some... <laughs> All that's going on there is we're hitting the A string um, and we're just mute, muting it at this end. So we're not quite touching the strings, we're just deadening them, as it were. So we're lightly touching them. So instead of getting like a. We're getting a. sort of you know generating a few different pitches and that's one you can freestyle it on however you want to play that intro either way it's going to work out well so yeah just move your fretting hand up and down and just keep up with the like I'm pretty sure perhaps the guitarist from Rage Against the Machine does something fancy like or something like that in there as well but again that's up to you it's however you want to play the song and what makes you feel good and what sounds good to your ears as well uh, we are in standard tuning so yeah <coughs> Yeah, so just normal tuning on the guitar, uh, that's E standard, so no need to do anything fancy on this one, which is cool. Um, but yeah, let's check out that main riff. You know it, it's an earworm, it is. <laughs> What's happening there is we're starting off at the fifth fret on the A string and then we're just sort of hammering on our um, ring finger so it's like then back to that fifth fret and the seventh fret on the E Forth between those two, then the third fret on the E, and then the open E. So, and then you sort of do a quick little run through of that again. So. just sort of hold that a bit more so it gives it that sort of juice and the groove of the riff. Now that's the sort of that's the little tag that takes us into the chorus and that's just some big old power chords. So you're getting your pointer, send him to the 5th fret on the A, and your ring finger to the 7th fret on the D, and give that some juice, and then move it up one, and that gives you the... So, put all that together. Which brings us to the chorus 
verse riff, which is kind of a variation on the verse riff. Let's check it out. I'll play it once and then we'll break it down. <laughs> Again, we're repeating that little trick we learned in the verse, which is the... But we're just playing that twice, so... Yep. And then we just got to go to the 5th fret on the low E string, down to the 3rd fret, and then open, so... Put that together and you get... To finish that up, we go back to the 3rd, go to the 5th, the 6th and the 7th fret on the E string, so that gives you... Kaboom! And we're playing the chorus. After the first chorus, there's this tiny little guitar solo, and it's a chaos solo, so it's not a... ...melodic sort of affair, it is a chaos solo. And what I'll get you to do to play it is... ...go to that second fret on the G, and just bend it like Beckham, and give it a heap of picking, so... Send that up to the 14th fret and do the same again. And I'm sure you you probably don't need me to play that pretty slowly because that's yeah we'll be here for weeks. But yeah, so from the top that little solo it's as I said comes off the chorus. <laughs> But I'm sure you can play it better than I can. The last part of the song is kind of this bridge bit um, that comes in after the second chorus, and it's nice, nice and easy, so we can just relax today. It's just a bit of a power chord up at the seventh fret on the low E and the ninth fret on the A. So you just go and then send that up to the twelfth fret on the low E and the 14th fret on the A so you just sort of play those two together like so this time at the 10th fret on the low E and the 12th fret on the A and it's like as I said just put all that together and you get the and then of course you give it the juice and hit up that chorus riff again and you make it sound as gnarly as you can, just because why the hell not? playing Cochise by Audio Slave, so how good's that? It's some, um, again, not the trickiest song to learn, but it's the execution of it and the, the way that the band play it, and yeah, also the vocal line on top of it is out of this world, and yeah, what you 
it's Chris Cornell. I mean, end of story. Um, so check out the song if you haven't heard it, and yeah, if you can use those notes to play along with it, um, yeah, give it a go. Uh, you'll have a hard trying time trying to find the sheet music for this online because uh, the record company that put the CDs out uh, has blocked a lot of content in regards to this song, so they'll probably um, be sending me a, a diplomatic email um, or message on YouTube soon, but yeah, learn the song if you can, while you can. Uh, I remember the video clip when this song first dropped, um, it, yeah, it was freaking awesome, because um, of course 2002 was kind of a shitty time in the world, and yeah, just having some good hard rockin' music come out and just kick us in the ass was, um, yeah, a real shot in the arm and, and really good at the time, which is something we all needed. So I'll always remember this album for that and having a great time, like listening to it all the way through with my mates and, you know, we'd just be like, yeah, man. Um, and there's a lot of great songs on the CD, so we'll probably be coming back to it uh, if the old um, fun police don't, um, you know, give me the smackdown too hard on this one. But anyway, um, like and subscribe, all that sort of YouTube business. Get the bell on. <laughs> sort of thing as a formality and you know the drill um and of course feel free to share your comments um on this about you know what was your first experience with audio slave like were you there when that video clip premiered and you just dropped for the first time and what did you think of it did you dig it and all that and what did you think of the mashup of um you know the guys from rage against the machine and chris cornell and yeah like I said, we'll tackle a few more of their songs if you like. And yeah, on that bombshell, I'll leave you to it. So thanks for watching this far, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>